how I treat hyperpigmentation in melanin-rich skin. Hi, I'm Dr. Tara, a board-certified dermatologist and founder of Tara MD, a virtual clinical practice. Today, I'm walking you through how I treat hyperpigmentation in those with melanin-rich skin. Hyperpigmentation is one of the most common reasons that my patients come in to see me. And the good news is with the right approach, it can absolutely be improved. Whether you're dealing with dark spots from acne or an uneven skin tone, this video will help you understand how I treat step by step. So let's get into it. Let's start out with what hyperpigmentation is. Hyperpigmentation means excess melanin and melanin is the pigment that gives skin its color. Hyperpigmentation can cause dark spots or dark patches that stand out from your natural skin tone. In those with deeper skin types, those melanocytes that produce the pigment can be very reactive. This means that any inflammation, whether it be from acne, eczema, a new product that caused any irritation, or even aggressive skincare can trigger pigment production. That's why it's important to treat both the cause and the pigmentation without triggering more irritation. When I treat hyperpigmentation, I focus on three pillars. Calm the skin, reducing irritation and inflammation. Fade the pigment using ingredients that target melanin production and prevent future damage because sun and inflammation are major triggers in hyperpigmentation. And I never rush the process. Fading hyperpigmentation in melanin-rich skin often takes months and aggressive treatments can actually make things worse. Patience, consistency, and effective but gentle skincare are the key. Step one, cleanser. I always start with a non-stripping gentle cleanser. If the skin barrier is compromised, we can't make progress. Step two, target inflammation. If there's any active blemishes, acne, eczema, I always treat that first. Step three, treat the pigment. This is where my targeted ingredients come in. I love ingredients such as tranexamic acid, vitamin C, azelaic acid, kojic acid, and in some cases, retinols or tretinoin. Step four, moisturizer. Hydration is non-negotiable. I don't care what your skin type is. If you're oily, you should still be moisturizing. And a damage barrier will only worsen hyperpigmentation. I look for moisturizers that contain ingredients like hyaluronic acid, ceramide, depending on your skin type. Step five, daily sunscreen. This step is not optional. Even if you're indoors, there's typically windows, you're typically getting light exposure from your electronics, and even on cloudy days. A lot of people don't realize that the UV rays from the sun do penetrate clouds. So even if it's cloudy, you still need to be wearing your sunscreen. I always recommend an SPF 30 or more, the one that you're gonna use. Tinted sunscreens with iron oxide are especially helpful in melanin-rich skin, especially if you're trying to treat stubborn pigmentation because they protect against visible light too. So light that's emitted from our electronics as well, which can also lead to hyperpigmentation. For patients who want faster results or who have hit a plateau, in-office procedures are great to help kind of expedite our results. I often utilize chemical peels, microneedling, lasers, etc. But this always goes hand in hand with a good foundational skincare routine. Here are a few things that I recommend avoiding if you have hyperpigmentation. Over exfoliating, especially with scrubs or high strength acids, DIY, lemon juice, baking soda, all those types of things. You guys don't realize that that's harming your skin barrier in ways that you can't even imagine. Hydroquinone use without medical supervision. It's effective, but in the wrong hands, it can actually worsen your hyperpigmentation. To wrap it up, hyperpigmentation is treatable in those with melanin-rich skin. The key is to be gentle, consistent. Skincare is a long game, not a quick fix. I need y'all to understand that. If you're struggling, you do not have to figure it out alone. I work with patients one-on-one -on -one through my virtual dermatology practice, and I also do skincare product consultation. Check out the links in the video description. 
to sign up. And remember, your skin is worthy of care exactly as it is. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, save, and subscribe, and share it with somebody who you think would need it. You can also book an appointment or a skincare consultation through the link in my bio or my website, taramd.com. See you next time.